Hello everyone, welcome again to this new CSR course. In this course, we are learning about the data types and we are talking about integers, bytes, longs and so many other different whole numbers. But remember, all of them are having fixed size. If I'm talking about integers, then it is having a fixed size. Similarly, all other types like the integers, bytes, longs, all of them are having a fixed size. But there is something that has been added in CSR 9 and it will work on dynamic size. It is native size integers. This new data type was added in C sharp 9. And basically there were two types. First is signed value and second one was the unsigned values. Let's talk about both of them. So this is a very basic console application that I'm having over here. And in this console application, if I want to define the native size integers, then I can use system dot int ptr like this one. And here I can define the name of my variable. So for example, it is my where one and I can give it any value like this. This was from C sharp nine, but starting from C sharp 11, which is added in .NET Core 7.0, there are some alias that has been added for this type. So instead of having the system node in PTR, now we can use an, an int over here. Let's give a different name over here. This is how it will work. Similarly, if I want to work with the unsigned number, then let's copy it and just paste it again. And here I can use u int ptr. And here I can use this n u int. Let's change the variable names. It is three and it is four. This is how it will work. What is the difference in between this n int and the integer value? Let's find out the size of this data type. So here I'm writing console dot right line. So here I'm writing the size and and let's use the curly bracket and here there are two ways to find out the size. First is we can use the size of operator and second is I can also use this n int dot size like this. Let's run this application and let's see what is the size. Here you can see the size of this system dot int ptr is 8 bytes. Here is the difference. If you run this application in 64 bit process, then you will get the size as 8. If you will run the same application on 32 bit process, then you will get the size 4. And that is the main functionality of this native size integer. Similarly, if you will try to find out the size of this u int, which is n u int, then again the size is same, but the difference is in between the maximum and the minimum value. Let's understand that as well. So if here I'm writing max value and here is the min value here as well, max value and here as well the min value. Let's update the max value over here. The min value. And let's run this application again. This time you will see the size of both of them is 8 because I'm working on the 64 bit process. That's why I'm getting this 8. If you will run the application on 32 bit process, then you will get the size 4. And because this is the sign integer, so we are having the minus values as well. And for the unsigned, we are having the minimum value as 0. And this is the maximum value. This is how you can work with the native size integers. And remember all other concepts like the null label, the alias, the custom alias, all of them are exactly same that you are having in the previous types. That is all in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.